No. It's decision day in California to determine if Governor Gavin Newsom will keep his job. The polls closed just a few hours from now, and Democrats are pulling out all the stops. It's unbelievable what happened in the final few weeks. President Biden trying to make the recall all about Trump instead of Newsom's job performance. All of you know the last year I got to run against the real Donald Trump. This year, this year, the leading Republican running for governor is a, uh, the closest thing to a Trump clone that I've ever seen in your state. You either keep Gavin Newsom as your governor <coughs> or you'll get Donald Trump. All right, that was inspiring. And Newsom continuing to push race-based attacks against the leading Republican candidate, Larry Elder. I'll stop now. The issue of diversity, of pluralism, the issue that defines so much of our politics, that's all on the ballot tomorrow night. Racial justice is on the ballot tomorrow night. Man, he's looked nervous, unsure of himself through this whole recall. He called out the president, the vice president, uh, the speaker of the House, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and he needed $70 million, Dana. Does that show he's nervous? Or is Democrats saying we're going to win big and we all want credit for it? Oh, I think in the la I think the, maybe like five to six weeks ago, I think they were very nervous, especially as Larry Elder started to pick up some steam. You know, he Larry Elder already has statewide name ID. Somebody like the mayor of San Diego, Kevin Faulkner, is a very good mayor, but statewide name ID is hard to get. Um, but because Larry Elder had it. And he's very popular, and he was talking about the issues. He didn't talk about Donald Trump or Biden or Kamala Harris. He was talking about homelessness, crime, education, and the economy. And he was worried that people in California were wanting to leave. And when you, when any time that I saw Gavin Newsom get out there and try to campaign, he one didn't seem authentic. He sounded very angry. It didn't seem like like him. He wasn't talking about the issues. And they so badly want to run against President Trump that that's a little bit of a tell for the 2022 midterms. The other thing is, if you're the commander in chief and you've left Americans stranded behind enemy lines in Afghanistan, I'd spend all my time focused on that. I wouldn't go to California. I wouldn't campaign. I would make sure that everybody knows I'm going to make sure I'm going to get those people out. Why did he, Jesse? Why he's, did he show up? He's campaigning in the middle of a pandemic. He wouldn't campaign in the middle for of a hostage crisis. Right. See, we can play that game too. Yep. <laughs> Trump is now the wedge issue for Democrats. Mm. This is what they've done. So you're either a Trump Republican, and that fires up the Democrat base, or if you try to distance yourself from Trump, the Republican base goes yeah. crazy and hates you. So that could work in a state like California where Republicans are outnumbered, but that's not really going to play in swing districts next fall. It's a lazy argument. But the real issue is immigration has killed the Republican Party in the state of California. The foreign-born population in the state of California is 25 percent. Foreign-born voters vote two to one Democrats. You do amnesty, you do those special visas, Green cards, Driver's chain license. migration, birthright amnesty. You're just loading it up. We already know Hispanics vote two to one Democrat. Asians, two to one Democrat. We know blacks, 90%, they vote Democrat. So in a state like that, if you throw out a lot of nasty racial attacks to that population that's, you know, we're not all paying attention that much to politics, that's going to move the needle. And then you add the $70 million in advertising. And the guy's good looking. Gavin Newsom, great head of hair, charisma, <laughs> well tanned. A lot of people pay attention to that kind of stuff. I don't personally. Right. Never. At all. You know, but a no. lot of people do. Very similar uh, hairstyle to Pete Hegseth. Yes. They both choose to lose a lot of jail. <laughs> For more on that, let's go to Jessica. Jessica, why did they not bring up things that he did well? Why don't they say he's done a great job building up the homeless population, raising taxes? Why don't they point out some of the things that he did well? How come they're always just saying you don't want Donald Trump? You don't want Donald Trump or you do want Donald Trump is the most animating issue in America and continues to right. be that way. That, that is just not going to change even through the, the midterms. midterms. And Jesse is right, not about the hair thing. And I mean, he, Gavin Newsom is very good looking, uh, <laughs> that, but that does not get you a governorship. But coming out right now and saying that Larry- What has Larry he done well? What has Newsom think, done well besides- That's what hair? I was hoping What has he done to. well? It's a great choice in restaurants. Right. <laughs> the French laundry is lovely. Right. Um, no I wait. did not go during the pandemic. <laughs> Besides um, the French laundry, what has he done well? 
people in the state, he had a very high approval rating. What has he done well, Jessica? What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> we don't all know. Right, you don't like know. my sister lives there. What do you want me to say about it? You can't answer the question. He's like, we have wild, can I just say something about who's voting? In contrast to what Jesse was saying, yes, you have a Latino population that tends to vote Democrat. That is shifting. You also have a very conservative Asian population that sent more Asian representatives on the right. Republican side to Congress in 2020. Those things make a difference. They will not shift the recall. But Democrats are very aware of a shifting tide in terms of how minority populations are voting. And he's bringing up racial justice issues, not to say that Larry Elder is a white supremacist, but to say that only one party, the Democratic Party, is the one paying attention to racial inequality issues. And one big one big advantage, he had the media on his side. I mean, for them yeah. to not have the white woman with the gorilla mask yeah. throwing eggs at him on yeah. the front page of the L.A. Times yeah. or even in the news That's story, big. Katie. They called it a an egg-throwing incident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the L.A. Times uh, viciously used a photo of Larry Elder in a moment where he was moving towards someone he knows. It looked like he was hitting her on the story mm -hmm. like this and said that he had to leave this homeless encampment because there was an incident with Larry Elder implying that he was the and one who was, in, was engaged yeah. in violence against this woman when really he was being attacked by a white woman in a gorilla uh, face. Um, but I will say it's been a long time since Ronald Reagan was governor of California, mm -hmm. but conservatives have been making some, making up some ground in these more conservative districts. And I think that people in California, including minorities, care a lot about crime and homelessness affecting their communities and the places that they live. And it's interesting to me to, to, to ask the question to someone like Gavin Newsom or President Joe Biden, um, are all the Democrats who are, are voting against Gavin Newsom, are they Donald Trump? Are all the Democrats running against Gavin Newsom uh, the same thing as Donald Trump? Because it's not just Republicans and Larry Elder who want to recall the governor. There are also a lot of independents and Democrats who want to do the same thing. Right. Uh, that's what all I had to do is say, Katie, what do you think? I didn't even <laughs> have to ask a question. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.